and so here we are wanting you to understand who you are you are source energy and you were source energy before you came into this body but the thing that most of you do not realize is that you were source energy before you came into this body and the larger part of you still is and that larger part of you is tending that vibrational reality that you have been creating all of the days of this physical life experience and even before the intentions that you held are held as a vibrational basis there's a vibrational basis of everything and that's what man wants to call source that's what man wants to call God it is the culmination of all of that positive becoming over all of the beingness that we all have been or our being so that non-physical part of you exists and it has a point of attraction now by that point of attraction what we mean is that that you is offering a vibration and law of attraction is responding to that vibration and since that vibration is all about love and all about what you are desiring it's a point of attraction that is only what you would call positive here you are focused in your own right in your own personality thinking about things talking about things talking to people noticing things remembering things imagining things past present future your mind's all over the place just as you knew it would be and in all of that thinking that you are doing blessed deliberate and sometimes not focused and sometimes not physical creators you are finding vibrational harmony or not with that source energy that is you so when you launch the rocket that asks for more prosperity more prosperity is being summoned to that vibrational point of view but if you are not feeling happy about the idea of prosperity if you are doubting it or suffering in and not enough of it if you're focused upon the absence of it then without meaning to you are holding yourself in vibrational discord with your own creation and this is something that we want you to understand because that is the only thing that ever gives you negative emotion you think it's what somebody else is doing that one's driving me crazy that one is immoral that one is doing wrong things that one is bad in this way or this way or this way but what's really happening is whenever you feel negative emotion you are out of vibrational sync with who you have become it's important to understand that you will always be we will all always be in the state of perpetual becoming you cannot hold it back so in continuing with Jerry's question and passionate desire about how thoughts are actually turned to things we want you to understand these things you live in a vibrational universe and you are vibrational beings and everything around you is too which means you are broadcasting a signal which you can control but you've got to have some sense of what the control is in other words do you gather together in large groups and take a consensus and then do that that's not working out very well is it ask the Republicans or the Democrats they're all failing at it go into any church or synagogue is that the answer well while there are nice things to be experienced there as they pit themselves against one another claiming the only right doing that's not the answer to alignment that's not what you came to experience you came knowing that there would be diversity that there would be a lot of difference around you and you blessed that idea because you knew that out of it would come your clarity of what you the creator chooses to create in this meaningful life experience that is you so you were born with this sensitivity these senses to translate vibration your eyes translate vibration that's why you see vibrational interpretation eyes ears nose fingertips tongue all vibrational interpreters but you have an emotional center that is your true vibrational interpreter because that interprets the variance between the source that you were when you were born and that you have added to ever since that source energy God being that you are that vibration and the vibration of you for example you've asked for much more money and that non-physical part of you stands in utter prosperity with endless knowledge about avenues for you to realize 
to turn those vibrations into dollars you said to us all right Abraham we accept that there's a vortex all right all right all right all right all right how do we get our money out of the vortex and into the bank and we're going to talk about that all day here today how do you get what you desire what you have created how do you turn it to something that is tangible for you how do you make it manifest how do you make it actualize how do you get to see it how do you get to enjoy it fully and should you the answer to that is unequivocally yes you've come to create you have come to turn your thoughts to things you have come to experience the reality of this magnificent time and place so once you accept that you are a vibrational being and once you accept that your emotions are letting you know the vibrational variance or harmony between what you've become and what you're doing right here now you're off and running now you have guidance that will serve you all day every day we want you to know that the source within you not only knows and literally has become the liver of all that you've asked for but your source your inner being also knows how to guide you along the path of least resistance which is to say the path of most allowance which is to say the path of least resistance which is to say the path of most allowance which is to say the path of least resistance to guide you along the path of least resistance to what you desire we would like you to know that if there is any resistance on your path and there is you put it there nobody else is putting any resistance on your path all it is is just thoughts you've picked up along the way that you've begun to practice that contradict who you really are and what you really know for example you are brilliant but you may not know it when you put yourself down and say I'm inappropriate or I'm not good at that I don't fit in the reason that those words that concept feels so bad to you is because it is so off from the reality of who you are when you say good things don't come to me the reason it feels so bad to say that is because it's so off it's so not true at all when Esther first began really chatting it up with us oh she began to really like it and in the early days she said oh good Abraham now you can help me know who is lying <laughs> I know they are you can help me know when they are and we said how would you like to proceed Esther said let's watch Judge Wapner <laughs> so people came in and told their stories very different stories judge listened mocked them passed judgment and then Esther said all right Abraham which one of them was telling the truth because Esther thought the judge was nuts <laughs> which one of them is telling the truth and we said a better question is which one of them believes what they are saying because in many cases they were telling two entirely different versions of something and both believed what they were saying well that got Esther's attention because she began to realize that there is no way of sorting out the rightness and wrongness of anything because your perspective makes what you get from it uniquely your own and so to try to convince others to hear your side of any story is really a futile and foolish way to go about life because they all think something different because there are not two vantage points that are the same and the more you try to convince them of what your vantage point is the more you get out of sync with who you really are because in that defending or justifying you hold yourself vibrationally in discord and so Esther said well then how do I know and we said it doesn't really matter if your opinion agrees with or disagrees with anyone on the planet the only thing that matters is that you stay in vibrational 
concert or accord or harmony with you, with what you have created, with who you really are. So that means you got to care about how you feel. That means you got to think your thoughts slowly enough that you can feel which thought is the bugaboo that you've just introduced. That means you have to become receptive to your own emotions and aware that anytime every time 100% of the time no exception that you feel negative emotion you are out of sync with the whole of you and you have put resistance on your path you've created your own stumbling block and you are resisting the natural flow of well-being that would be there if you were not doing that thing you're doing that's causing you to feel the negative emotion don't you like knowing that but there's stuff happening that you might be looking at and when you look at something that gives you negative emotion it's like holding that cork under the water and for the time it's under the water it does not feel good but any time you can turn your attention away from whatever it is that's got your cork under the water got your negative emotion coming just let go of it by focusing somewhere else and that cork will quickly bob right back to the surface right where you belong if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next